G'day folks, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Well, I have to admit that there has been a long time since I actually kicked in with the Crikey Lounge episode, but I will be honest folks that in regarding to that, I want to start off by saying that it is a real shame and it was very sad when I heard the news about the passing of Chuck Bennett or Captain SFC for short. Well, the funny thing is about it all was that I knew that he was going through health issues and there's a lot of things that's been happening in his life and stuff like that. Originally, I wanted to do a donation for buying some flowers and plant a tree in recognition towards him. But unfortunately, I was unable to do that because they don't accept international stuff. Bit of a shame, really, if you think about it, because I was trying to do a caring thing. Anyway, the long story short is that I was actually very, very sad uh, about his passing and everything. And I will admit that in deep down in my heart and mind, I had been thinking about it all and been thinking about all the good times and memories I've had of him. In all seriousness, though, some of it has been so funny and horrendous. And other times, you just, you know, kind of like sit back there, laugh and cry. There are things about this whole thing about my friendship with Captain SFC has been a great brotherhood between good mates, between each other. We had a great time. Ever since I knew him, he was actually a very positive, charismatic kind of person. And honestly, when I heard the news about his passing that devastated me and I needed to take a step back. I actually felt very sick and ill the next day. And honestly, I, my mind wasn't coping. Um, I don't deal with, you know, the death of my close friends or someone who I considered family very well. And honestly, taking a step back was probably the best thing I could do for my own mental health. Now, in all seriousness though, I'm back in the saddle. I'm getting my mind settled down right now, but I want the community to understand that I need good vibes in the best way possible in going forward. And that is the only thing I can ask of you. But the thing is though, that in between now and then, I have been doing a side on project that has me really pushing hard to try and get things all sorted out and I will show you this real quick. So basically I have been doing a lot of things behind the scenes in regarding to moving over from one chat program to a different chat program and bot that is more superior and very easy to use. But there's one minor downside behind this story. The problem was that from moving over from Streamlabs chatbot, which is this program over here, and then moving over to Streamerbot, which is the brand new program I'm working on, you have to start off from scratch. Unfortunately, there there is no export or import tools in regarding to importing information from one bot program to another. And that is a real shame. So I had been going through a lot of countless hours after hours trying to get things back online while dealing with my health recovery at the same time. So I want people to understand that I'm doing the best I can not to burn myself out in the process. And pretty much I'm taking it easy day by day to make this happen for everyone out there. And honestly, don't feel offended or left out that I missed something because in all seriousness though, what I will say to you right now in this video, if there is something missing that is not there and you know it was there before, do me a favor, hit me up, ask me on Discord and remind me to put it back in. That's all I'm asking. I know that some people don't know what's it like to be, you know, behind the saddle of watching, you know, how people put their hard yards into their work and point things together. Well, that is a good example of what I'm showing you right now of us, you know, putting things a lot together and making it happen. 
yeah i know that this is a lot of work and there's a lot of things being you know put into it but i will be honest with you ladies and gentlemen that i'm doing it for the sake of improving better quality on my streams but at the same time i found a program that is far more functional and at the same time it is very easy to use i want to start off by saying a huge shout out to aerospace news for his advice and his excellent let's just say wisdom of knowledge i should say the reason why because is that aerospace news and i go a long way back and we helped each other a lot with each other and I feel that when I was looking at this, you know, with the whole stream about moving over the first time around, the the first version I saw it, I was kind of like, Ugh. and now I'm looking at, the, at like the newer version, I see a lot of improvements and a lot of better functionality. The good thing about it all is that you're surrounded by a group of people that are very, um, how should I put it? There are some people who have different skills about it all, and it's actually they invested a lot of time collaborating ideas and making things better, and you can see it happening. For example, that there are some people who come from a programming background have developed things that is actually very handy, like for example the auto shout out to um, you know subophones and other things like that, which is pretty cool and there are also other things on there that i felt was actually pretty cool in terms of like how it supports different streaming platforms on top of it all there is something about it all that i see has made me smile a lot and that is the pure fact that it does support you know its integrations between uh, several programs like for example let me just uh let me see to see here. Let me see. I've got like Streamlabs, um, Stream Elements, or so Voice Mode, Dino Drive. Um, there's a whole heap. I mean, like, let me just put it here. It's like there's a whole heap up here that you can see that there's a lot of different uh, varieties you can add and put things together. But at the end of the day, it's all about how you're going to utilize these programs and tools and use it as something that is going to be more beneficial for you in the long run. Yeah, I know that what I'm saying is that when I look at this sort of thing, I'm thinking about the long term and everything for this, you know, channel community and everything. And at the end of the day, because I have a stream team, I'm also thinking above and beyond for them to help them in going forward for whatever they were using. Like, for example, I know that there are some people out there who have used Streamlabs chatbot and myself included. I have used it for about nearly five years now. And in all seriousness though, I will be honest though, Streamlabs chatbot, when it first came out, it was probably the well most well recommended program out there because it's simplicity, it's interface, and it was compatible with other pot, bot programs and stuff like that. The other thing about it all was that with the whole you know thing before streamerbot was made known was that there were other programs like stream elements to moobot frostbot nightbot but the thing is that with certain programs there is a like for especially for giveaways like moobot uh, frostbot and nightbot for example even stream elements and streamlabs some of them have different cool things and some of them did not have certain extra functionality like for example that moobot and frost support have the functionality to detect who is following your channel and who is not whereas the other bot programs only you know acknowledge that the person has entered the giveaway therefore bam they should get it, you know um in all seriousness though that when i was setting up giveaway rules and things like that in the channel it basically became very clear and evident that i needed you know something a bit more easier to manage and stuff like that unfortunately though streamer bot doesn't have a giveaway bot yet that actually works perfectly to detect followers and stuff like that however that may soon change in the near future we will find out and wait and see 
there's a lot of bunch of people out there who are pretty cluey out there and i'm sure that they will put something together in the near future but for now streamerbot is a work in progress program but it is far more superior and has a great tenacity for improving the quality of your streams and at the same time that you have a far more simpler in uh, a program that you can use in going forward uh, without any problems so for now the way i see it is that there's great functionality all around and i'm looking forward to it pretty much right now so in regarding to everything that's been happening behind the scenes in terms of my real life i know that i'm going through a lot right now but i'm hoping that things will improve that is the main thing ladies and gentlemen i'm hoping that things will improve and that is one step at a time fingers crossed for tomorrow because i'll be dealing with my hospital appointment and stuff like that and hopefully that you know there's no uh, issues whatsoever but in all seriousness though i feel confident at the moment right now that things have been pretty good the weather down here is actually cooling down now here in australia not too bad at night but um during the day it's actually been not too bad it's been pretty pleasant but if it gets windy then that could be a different matter but anyway so i mean like it has been raining though so uh, the water tank is actually getting filled up that's a good sign so hopefully if, uh, things will improve and going forward though but yeah i honestly you know think for now i mean like understand this folks that even though i'm moving over from one streamer bot to another program that does take time and that's why i'm pushing hard and making sure that everything is focused on it correctly in going forward so that you have a good system in place and things are going well and going forward that is pretty much the end of the story right there but um look folks i mean like first and foremost thanks for everything that you've been doing i'm looking forward to seeing you back soon in a way by either first or friday i know that uh, for a fact that the guys and i had a wonderful time and experience doing a stack up challenge we have raised a lot of money and i lost count to tell you the truth i actually trying to uh see what was the last time we have um done a fundraise for that sort of thing and it looks like i suppose i'm just trying to get the result here it looks like that we really have pushed hard with all our channels and communities uh to get to where we are so uh it looks like that uh lord zaf has hit um Tier 10 and the Shimakaze, uh, Tier 8 and the Benson, 4C Rafter, Tier 9 and the Buffalo, and well, I'm on Tier 6, but I haven't played World of Warships lately for myself either. But I will be honest though, folks, I mean, like, people had asked me about this, and I will touch base in the video right now about what's going on about that. As a, ever since I became a variety streamer, ladies and gentlemen, um i took a step back from world of warships not because i don't like the game or anything like that it's just purely the fact that i've taken a step back from warships and streaming uh, too much honestly that i have loved the game i have really did I, I still do but there are some things about the game that i just feel that is not a great like it used to be right now but i'm gonna leave it at that because I know that people will read too much into it and honestly as a person who loves the franchise and doesn't like what's going on honestly the clan battles what I can say it wasn't exactly the best thing I seen in clan battles in all, in all seriousness though the so-called special abilities and you know what they're talking about the consumables um in all seriousness though that should be removed I mean like you should get rid of that piece of shit uh, stuff in there because in all seriousness though the way i see it and i view it as a person who plays the competitiveness of clan battles is that we are so used to a simple system that was going well for so long and we have enjoyed it from start to finish honestly there there is not many people out there um 
made me think about it and how to word it. There are not many people out there that are liking it at the moment. I mean, like I have seen a lot of negative chat and banter going on in Asia clan vowels, and it's not like a good look at all. I think a lot of people out there in terms of the Asia server is boycotting the whole thing. And they see that the whole thing towards the leader towards King of the Sea is a waste of fucking time. Um, honestly, that's the wording that they used. And honestly, as a person who is a representative of the server and that, I just said to myself, yeah, that's pretty much just one word. Yeah. And it was not exactly a very good look on that that all i mean like i know that there are some clans are trying and having to go i have to give them credit when it's due but it is a bit of a double-edged sword so basically whenever i see what's happening with you know north american community i see a lot of that happening it's actually been fun and engaging for them and other people out there uh you know like an eu server i have seen a couple of people doing it and it's not that exactly exciting for them either but i will admit though that everyone has a highs and lows about this game and honestly that i think we have hit a bit of a low point of the franchise so we're gonna leave it at that and try not to get involved with it because we're gonna have to wait and see how that pans out but anyways I'm looking forward to coming back stream soon folks but i will admit that it's going to be a different uh, experience for me with the new streamer bot being put into play here it's not yet finished but i have a feeling majority of it will be done by thursday and friday in a way but uh, fingers crossed hopefully no problems and it will all go smooth sail and everything but uh yeah, look, take it easy. Just have fun. Have a good time. And I look forward to seeing you all soon in a couple of days or so. But um, yeah, folks, one other thing. That if you want to do replays and stuff like that, send it across. But we will also go and get ourselves back into the other games as well too uh, for like Homeworld and Helldivers 2 soon in the future. Um, because I, honestly I've missed those games and I'm starting to develop a bit of an audience about those games now so looks like I'm going to have a bit more fun coming soon but um, if you're interested in joining the stream team you're more than welcome to the door is open for you but that's all I can say to you all you need to do is just reach out to me alright folks take care stay safe have a great time and i'll see you in a couple of days or so but yeah feel free to like subscribe to my videos and content we're looking forward to catching up with you all soon have a good one everybody and definitely take it easy when you're driving out there if you're driving in the rain especially have a good one